All right. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. And in today's episode, we are talking about a little bit of a women's weekend preview. As OU basketball and softball both had very successful weekends. And I mean, guys, I think we opened it up with women's basketball. Went in a share of the regular season Big 12 title, a share with Texas. I mean, a massive win versus Oklahoma State on the road. I think they had close to 6,000 people there, which is a lot for Oklahoma State women's basketball game, really a women's basketball game in general. Massive road win, especially when you consider Maddie Williams got hurt in the first, like, three, three four minutes of the she, game. He banged she knees got hurt? Her. Yeah, dude. Yeah, she so was... He banged knees with someone off of a screen. It didn't look good. She never came back in the game. Yeah, like, but – they they didn't miss her, dude. Like what's crazy is no, no. the step up. The step up from the other girls was ridiculous. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Well, Dang. and then it's also you have like Be- Beatrice. I don't know how to say her last Beatrice, name. Beatrice. Col- Beatrice Colton. 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 She, yeah. she, she's Colton. Barely played all year, and she gives you thirteen points. Oh yeah. Like it's just whenever people like that step up because Maddie Williams is probably the best player I would say on this team. Mm-hmm. And yeah. whenever she and whenever she gets hurt, and whenever you have three to four people you can re- rely on to, to step on, or to, you can rely on to step up, is a massive say about the depth that Jenny Bronchek has. I, that's what the deal is. It's Jenny Bronchek, guys. And she's I'm legit. A, if Jay was on here, he'd hate this word, but the culture she's building at OU is ridiculous. And people don't just step up. OK, uh, it's it's because they've been prepared to step up, you know, that old myth of the cream rises to the top or the best players step up. No, those mm-hmm. that have prepared the best step up. They've been prepared. They've talked about opportunities, man. But you know what everyone's going to talk about is what happened after this game. Did you guys? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, I hope they meet again it's, in the uh, Big 12 tournament. I Me that too. Would be, I would love to watch it, but. OSU was not happy with how that ended and, and the whole post-game thing. <laughs> look, look, and then all bias says, set, set aside, I don't think OU was intentionally trying to do anything. They no. were in the moment celebrating. Jenny Bronchick was trying to call her players off the court. Did you sure she was walking to the tunnel, calling calling it everyone over there, and they all basically huddled over on her and started jumping and stuff. Like, what's she supposed to do? Stop that? No. That's – yeah, that's what yeah. she said in the post game. She said we were trying everything we could do to be classy, but she said it's kind of hard because you just kind of got to share the title at your rival rivalry's place. I mean, what what else can you do? So I thought OSU, to me, OSU just being a baby like they always are on mm-hmm. things. Yeah, and yeah. this is the way it is in every sport. Mm-hmm. But what a win! So they get a share oh. of the title. Uh, Big 12 tournament and women's basketball is also Kansas City. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, it's going to be uh, interesting. They have a first round bye. I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I – or, or Braden, do you know who, the, who they'd win if they won? Uh, yeah, I don't know who they play. Iowa State or Baylor, maybe? See, those are both two – Pretty good programs. I mean, whenever the Big 12 in basketball overall and girls and boys is really good conference. Yeah. I mean, I think the girls side, let's see, Kansas is ranked right now, or they were. They're like 23. Mm -hmm. Texas is ranked. Texas. Baylor Baylor was ranked. Oklahoma State, were they ranked? I don't think they were ranked. Were they they ranked? They've been they've been ranked. I don't think they were ranked this last year. Texas is ranked. I think Iowa State's ranked. So it's a good Big Twelve standings or what? No, nationally. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Maddie Williams, guys. Yeah. uh, Surely, I mean it's a bang needs. it's gotta be a bruise. So I haven't heard any updates, but surely she's back. Yeah. Yeah, That's what I think. I would think so, but yeah, because because I didn't see her come back out, and I thought, oh, she's in foul trouble. Mm-hmm. Bronchek has to be coach of the year. I yeah, know he has OSU, to. The OSU lady's done great, too. But I, to me, Bronchek has to be coach of the year. Oh. Yeah. And, then, and then do you know what? Not going to lie, because obviously we're talking about the girls, but the, the men's team was up by like 20 on – TCU and I flipped over to the girls game. It was the end of the second second quarter, maybe. Mm-hmm. I, it was not looking good. Then that third quarter saved OU. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I still can't get used to the four quarters in basketball, though, guys. Sorry. Yeah. It, just, it bothers me. How does it well, bother you, bro? I just – it's hard for me. I, I'm, I don't want to talk a lot about why. I just hate the four quarters in women's basketball. I think it should be two halves, but whatever. Yeah, I agree. Hey, hey, that's what you call Sooner Magic. They didn't even need it really yesterday. They just stepped up. And mm-hmm. I tell you, who doesn't need Sooner Magic is the OU women's softball team. Can we stop? Can we stop America right now about acting like there's people that's going to compete with this team? Yeah, okay, no. Kentucky, 18-0. How many innings was that? Versus UCLA, five innings, 18-0. Kentucky. Or, or, or no, K- Kentucky. We haven't even talked talk about the, the UCLA game, guys, since we've done this. Oh, last. no. They're getting I, we're shut behind. Off. For us, hey, I feel bad because we actually questioned the bats too. We were like, man, mm-hmm. bats are bat Patty Gasso, come on. You, she's like Michael Jordan when it comes to, she'll find anything there is to motivate her team. <laughs> I don't care if it's listening to some whatever, she will put it in the locker room and these girls will respond. It's insane mm-hmm. how well the, and Kenzie Hansen, maybe the most oh. underrated player in America. Yeah. Yeah, she's a stud. I mean, Mm-hmm. Even like even whenever she goes through slumps, you just know that she's about to step up and hit an important home run or something to get the momentum. Because she, she did got a granny didn't she? last year. Yeah, she got a grand slam, Jeremy. Yeah, that's what I thought. She had a granny. Yeah, legit, bro. But I I think the player that deserves the most praise. I know the office. We say this, Alex Starocco. Oh my gosh! Yes. Versus Kentucky and UCLA. Yep. What that tells me, though, Jackson, is Patty Gasso is going to go with her. That, mm-hmm. I mean, against the big dogs, that's who she's tossed out she's to the mound. Ace, I huh? mean, huh? I, she's the ace. I agree. I Yeah, well, I agree for real. First Kentucky, I want to say, yeah, yesterday afternoon, right? That's whenever it was. Mm-hmm. Jordan, she pitched her best game of the year. She did. And yeah, she did. Good. It was good to see Jordy Ball back on the mound, pitching with confidence. Now, now Jackson, what? Jackson, yeah. Do you do you have ESPN Plus? Yeah. Did you see uh, all the chain uh, lineups this past weekend? As far as what the changes, oh, how many people played? Yeah, I think everyone on the roster probably played. Any it's, surprises, uh, Braden? Any surprises as far as? You know, well, Quincy uh, Ilio or whatever. Yeah, is. Quincy. Yeah, she's good second baseman. So but these but, these girls won't play unless they're blowing people out, though, right? I mean, yeah, well. yeah. yeah. Hmm. But also, the thing is that still is just insane to me is you have a player that's not even starting anymore, and Sydney Sanders. I know she's struggling. She, mm-hmm. she was an All American last year in the Pac-12, and she's not even starting like. Alina Torres, another transfer from Arizona State, along with Sydney Sanders. She's not even starting consistently. She was another All American player. Like, how do you how, how do you have a team that good? Hey, I'll tell you one reason that helps. NIL. These so girls are getting these girls are getting paid. Uh, you know, what I mean, and they're at a, the number one program. They probably got the best of the best. Everything. The NIL has really helped. I think. And when you're this good, people just. It's also, Jay, I know you're not here, culture. <laughs> Patty Gasso culture is different mm-hmm. than everywhere else, dude. Mm-hmm. Just watching her on the videos before games, the camaraderie, the relationship she builds with the players is second to none. No one can compare, and that's yeah. why she gets the reaction from the girls and the responses from the <clears> girls. <throat> Same with Jenny Bronchek. They are just mm-hmm. above all better than everyone else when it comes to that area. Yeah. And then you got the assistant, Gasso's son. Could JT. Be a head, JT. He could be a head coach anywhere, dude. And uh, what's her name? Roca? Rocha. 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 Oh, she, she's legit. She's legit. Best, she's legit. Best in the, she's the best pitching coach there is. Best coach in the country. Best mm-hmm. head coach in the country. I mean, you got it all. And Jeremy, just like you said, for both the girls' basketball team and the softball team, the culture has been laid. The foundation's been laid for these teams to succeed. Now the softball team, we've seen it. And I'm going to go back to – I think it was last year at the start of the World Series 
there was an interview Patty Gasso did where she was talking about how she used to be so focused on winning and not buying into the players. And now, like you just have seen over the last four or five, or five years, she's more bought into the players instead oh, of yeah. more on winning because whenever you buy into the players. Now, I know – I know this is girls, but men's for football. Brent Venables, Oklahoma didn't do so good in year one. But Brent Venables buys into the players, buys into the relationships with others. It's going to help OU succeed down, down the road, it, it, even if it doesn't come right now. You can't – yeah, you can't stress that enough. And if you've yeah. heard any of Patty Gasso's post-game interviews the last few years, win or lose, it's always about – you know, she talks about what can she do with these girls? How can she build them up? How can they learn from this? No one who ha- – I don't have a daughter. I have three boys. But if I had a daughter, there's no one else they'd go play for. I don't I don't care if they had playing time. Patty Gasso's who they would play for because of her example, her faith, everything she talks about. She's so genuine. And, we, yeah, that's the exact same with Venables too, guys. It's just real. And when you get someone that real, it's really fun to play play on that, on that side to compete with them, even if you lose, because you know what you're going to get from them. And but, that, no one's beating them in a three-game series. It's not happening. No. No, no chance. not at all. No chance. But I it, tell you. What would you compare it to, guys? Give me another team in sports history that you would compare this dominant to. Arkansas. Where, where no one else stood a chance. Arkansas is not a bad school. The, their softball program. I'm talking about any sport, Braden. Oh, I mean, hey, oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you if you had to give me anyone, Tom Brady or Michael Jordan, their teams. Well, Mike, I, I would say with Michael Jordan, I'd really now Jordan. Yeah, when he was at his prime, he was going to make the winning mm. shot. They were dominant when they got seventy wins. It's almost like a Tiger Woods effect too, and in, in that everyone around them just crumbles. When, when you step up against OU, they just get intimidated and they crumble. Everyone in the and the golf world did that when they came against Tiger Woods. He had the intimidation factor. He wasn't going to lose in the major moments. He was going to make every putt when it mattered. OU softball will hit every pitch when it matters. They'll strike out. They'll make every defensive play when it matters. Mm-hmm. It's got – there's not much – you can use – look up any adjective in the dictionary that talks about uh, superbness and uh, awesome and – uh, prestige, they're all of them. Greatness. Right? Yeah, greatness, yeah. you can't get another one. They're that. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. You should have seen all the switches Gasso did yesterday. Oh, yeah, she's just playing around with it, dude. Bro. When you got that much room, hey, what else you do? She put Jordy Ball in right field. Mm-hmm. She put Ken- Kenzie Hansen in center field. Hey, and you know that's fun for the girls. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Just, it's like when I played men's softball. Can't compare that to really the college <laughs> level. But we'd be killing the team. They'd say, "Hey, Jeremy, go go play infield," because I never did. And it was fun just to play. The, 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 yeah. And again, that's relationships. That's camaraderie. They just they just have fun out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it was kind of cool seeing uh, Jennings at shortstop yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, cause, I agree. And then it's also been so nice because J- Jada Coleman's back. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Kenzie Hansen back from her freshman year or yeah. whatever it was. Mm-hmm. There's hey. no one on this team that I wouldn't really say is playing bad besides Sydney Sanders. But I wouldn't even say she's playing bad. I would just say she hasn't found her stride yet. Yeah. Who do they play? That, what's their upcoming schedule look like, guys? Uh, they go to Mississippi. They got is it Mississippi State? Yeah, because it's some bulldog invitation or something. Yeah, it's Mississippi State, right. and then, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's not going to really matter who they play, but it's just going to be interesting to follow how many shutouts they're going to get, how many runs they're going to. Well, no, they have the Mississippi State or er, classic bulldog classic, thing and yeah. And yeah. then I think, and then I think they got the, uh, the games. They got Florida State at Mer, at Mer, Merida Hines. Merida Hines. Florida State's great team. Then you got mm-hmm. 
the the Hall of Fame Stadium tournament where you play against Auburn, Weber State, and yep. Northwestern. Oh, they're then, scheduled. Then, then it's tough schedule, at, but no one can compete. No. Yeah. Then at the end of the month, you have Texas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Texas is Texas. I don't. I cannot stand a softball coach. That's a whole other conversation for another oh, day. Yeah. Another conversation oh. for another Guys day. Would agree with me. Oh, Who, but, Texas. But, they're them and Oklahoma State and UCLA and OU are probably the top four best. Those are the top four. Those are the four. Yeah, we're at three in the Big Twelve, and it's Oklahoma and the rest of the country. That's how I look at it. Yeah. So, I, I'm still impressed with the freshman pitcher. She's done great, dude. KD. Yeah. Yeah. She's speaking she's of special. Speaking she's of, legit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Speaking of her, I think if you. Pitch her for all three games in a three inch series. I'd still take OU. I would too. Oh yeah, bro. She, bro. She's got a nasty curveball. She's different pitcher too. She's a different pitcher than the mm-hmm. other. He's a lefty. Yeah, it's yeah. just no one sees that. I mean, we we've had it in the past, but wasn't uh, who was the lefty in the World Series that pitched? G Juarez or not? G yeah. Juarez. A Juarez, yeah. So, but yeah, guys. Juarez too. She kind of. She was kind of. I don't think she was the main ace, really. No, she no. came out of nowhere in that tournament. It, it was they no wrote her, man. Either. No, they it, just wrote her in the tournament, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, right. that – oh, go ahead. Oh, you're good. But uh, so uh, I guess uh, Jenny Baranchek, I guess uh, they went to the – in a LA, uh, Lloyd Noble Center for the – Champion series, I guess, to cut the net. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. bro. Mm. I haven't Legit. seen videos of that, but that'll be nice. Hey, it was so nice because they brought the trophy into the locker room and still water and pour, start pouring water on Jenny. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That's exactly what we're talking hey. about. Dude. I mean, it's so nice to but, see because but I don't like OSU's head coach, she's awful. And she's actually a pretty good coach, Braden. She's, I mean, she's a good coach, she's a good, but I don't have anything against her. I well, mean, I mean, the interview he was upset that, yesterday because of what happened. I mean, you but, lost at home. But so. also, Jenny Bronchick and her both said they talked to each other after the game. Yeah, I mean, she's, mm-hmm. like, she's done everything. a great yeah. job at OSU, guys. She has. Yeah. Oklahoma State, their girls' basketball program was more down in the dumps in Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma. and they're on the up and up. They got the number one recruit in Oklahoma goes to Sepulpa Staley Hurd's going there. She committed yep. there. And she's going really to be up real there. Day. Yeah, she's going to start at OSU. She's really, going to uh, be unreal. OU, she's, their girls basketball team, they got a five-star recruit All-American player. Yeah. From Beth from Bethany, Oklahoma. Oh, no, I'm in uh, – she's down the another road. State. You're talking about another state, right? Yeah, 2023 girl. Yeah. So. Oh, oh! All right, I, 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 yeah. I bet I mean, it's the girl from Tuttle. Huh? She from Tuttle? Is she no, from I Tuttle, think Jackson? She's out of state. This girl's yeah. out. Of, yeah, this girl's out of state. Oh, well, guys, that wraps it up, guys. Yeah, thank you, everyone, we'll for, for tuning into the Sooner Surge. If you haven't, go check out Surge Sports Network. We've yes, been grinding sir. out content daily. Great website. Go follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Sooner Surge. If you haven't, click the like button, subscribe. Thank yeah, you, everyone. Jackson, Jackson's put an article out about the women's uh, win yesterday, and he's putting some softball stuff out there too. So you women's softball and basketball fans, be sure to check out Surge Sports Network. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Boomer. Peace.